amidst rising tensions at the India-China border in Ladakh region, and the call for boycott of Chinese products that have flooded the Indian market. A lesser-known story of Indian companies beating their Chinese rivals has emerged. According to media reports, Indian companies Bajaj Auto and TVS Motors have grabbed a considerable share of the two-wheeler market in Africa, dethroning the Chinese companies. ET Now Digital reported that, in the face of strong opposition from Indian two-wheeler manufacturers, such as Bajaj and TVS, as many as 200 Chinese two-wheeler manufacturers, initially present on the continent, are now down to 40. They shared almost 90 to 95 percent of the market 10 years back, and now Indian companies remarkably have almost 50 percent of the market. Bajaj Auto is currently the dominant market player, with a cumulative market share of almost 40 percent of the 2.4 to 2.7 million two-wheelers sold, the report stated. Bajaj Auto's executive director, Rakesh Sharma, told the Economic Times, Bajaj has been able to compete and win in Africa, based on its product strengths, local assembly operations, quality assurance, network of distribution partners, dealers and service centers. With a long-term focus, a huge effort has been put in training, tens of thousands of mechanics, and establishing customer engagement programs, which is yielding results," he added. In many African countries, two-wheelers are used as motorcycle taxis in urban areas, to transport people. The demand for two-wheelers has increased over the years in Africa, and the Indian companies have seized the opportunity. In an article published in the CNBC TV18 website, Srinivas Confetti, MD, of Wheels EMI, former HR head of Bajaj Auto, narrated how Bajaj captured the African market which was earlier dominated by the expensive Japanese bikes and the cheaper Chinese models. Chinese motorcycles used to come in a box. You bought the box and took it to a mechanic, and he would assemble it, said Confetti. In such a market, Bajaj launched its fully assembled motorcycle. It was priced more than the Chinese models, but less than the Japanese ones. The company set up dealerships, service centers, trained mechanics, and developed a relationship with the taxi riders. Today, Bajaj is a market leader. TVS is number two. The Chinese have been driven out, Confetti said in the article.